So a friend of mine just text messaged me asking if I would get on the next flight to Miami to film him DJing with a car battery inside of a shopping cart as some sort of mobile DJ for Art Basel. I said yes. Ah, Miami. Land of the super rich and the super weird. My friend Tyson is definitely on the weird side. Whoa! I have big holes in my brain and it takes me a minute to calibrate myself for the day. Meet Tyson, DJ, entrepreneur, and all around entertainer. Hello. This is TK Lowe. Welcome to my island paradise. We are going to try to get ready here for the day so that we can maybe uh, do this mobile DJ thing out by the Fool's Gold Day Off party. I don't think any of us drank last night because we're too cool for that. You know, we're beyond alcohol. I'm a panda. I eat bamboo. I am loading up the elevator. So at this point, Tyson still really hadn't explained what we were doing. But I was along for the ride either way, and to be honest, I was kind of looking forward to it. So the way Tyson had explained it to me, Art Basel was more or less a big excuse to get drunk, look at art, and hook up. One of the only negatives that I experienced at Art Basel was that a lot of the venues were expensive and hard to get into. But ultimately, that's kind of what made Tyson's mobile DJ idea so brilliant. Rather than pay to get into the party, why not bring the party? So voila, here's my finished product. We got the rave light. We got a QST 1000 watt K12 speaker. That, that will pump a party. Serato box into a laptop. Laptop into a uh, mixer from the Serato. All plugged into an RV battery. For me, it's about self-expression. It's about sharing love in the music. I want to spread that love mobile style. So let's go, let's see what's up. Let's see what we can do. At first, I don't think anyone knew what to think of Tyson. Was he a part of the festival? Was he a bum? What's up, guys? How are you? Okay, so the music wasn't exactly family friendly, but so far nobody was complaining. After all, it was just music. And there are way worse things a kid can see at Art Basel than an Asian DJ wearing a panda suit. I like the light. Things kind of started picking up when we hit the main strip, but there was still nobody dancing yet. Just a lot of people taking pictures and videos. Our first stop was the food trucks outside the Fool's Gold Day Off party where a track had just wrapped up. Listen, my man, I've been here all night. I was in there for free, and I paid mad money for tomorrow World, the first time in America. And this guy is amazing. Like he's ripping it. Like I can't believe I get to hear this guy for free. He's a shit, honestly. Blow my mind. Honestly. Except for this chicken, the people at the food truck seemed a little more interested in getting food than dancing. So we decided to move back to the main street. This is beautiful. This is innovative. This is art for me. I don't know what this DJ's name is, but I'm a DJ as well, and I think this setup is sick. It's freaking awesome. I love it. I really don't even know who this dude is, apparently my friend does, but he's straight murdering the streets of Miami right now in a panda suit next to the 5-0, because he obviously don't give a fuck, and neither do I. So turn up, my man. You're killing it, dude. This is a wandering party. 
things really started getting good once people decided to follow us around. A wandering party. She was my personal favorite. The wander dancer. Wonder Party! Guys, awesome, great to shit over here. Oh, it's a cool idea, man. It's pretty cool, man. I, I really enjoy it. Tyson finally got the dance party he wanted, and no one had to pay a dime. Just goes to show you, you don't have to be rich or famous to have a good time. Even though TK Lowe didn't make any money, we had a lot of fun, made a lot of people happy, and considered it a success. Uh, I'm sorry, I really just have to express myself. That panda playing the DJ, that's the only thing that's ever made sense to me in my entire life. Art Basil. It is what it is. Good night. Good night, folks.